Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up for Muhammad Amr. Come on, give it up. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh my God. That's a scary looking guy. Even I'm scared. Alhamdulillah. How about a big round of applause for the GPU? That's right. Global peace and unity. It's a beautiful thing. And how about a big round of applause for Islam Channel for putting it together? That's right. I want to say this. I want to say this, people. Uh, I'm a big fan of this event. I'm a big fan of Muslims getting together. But Islam Channel, I don't want to offend anybody, but I feel like the name Islam Channel is not exactly the most creative name in the world. Somebody didn't put a whole lot of thought into that name. Islam, it's like they had an idea. Let's make a TV channel all about Islam. What should we call it? Islam Channel. Yes. I mean, can you imagine if there was a competitor called Christianity Channel? Judaism Channel? Or maybe you can change the channel and go watch the Hinduism channel. <laughs> now you realize how goofy the name is. <laughs> That's okay, Muslims. You know that because our problem, our problem is that we have a tendency to talk to ourselves. That's right. Muslims, I want to say this. Can we be honest? Can I be honest? Can I be totally honest? Hear me out. Muslims. We have to do a better job explaining ourselves to people of other faiths. That's right. We have to do a better job explaining ourselves to people of other faiths. For example, have you ever thought about how ridiculous it sound when you ask for a day off from work for Eid and you don't know which day it is? I mean, seriously, put yourself on the other side of that conversation. Millions of Muslims living in America, living in Europe, they're showing up at work with an attitude. Listen, listen, I have to have a day off. It's my most important holiday. It's my Eid holiday. I have to have a day off from work. Hey, no problem. What day is it? I have no idea. Uh, could be Tuesday, could be Wednesday. Maybe Thursday, it's possible, okay? You know, if you follow Saudi, it could be Monday. I tell you what, just give me the whole week off. Give me the whole week. Eid week, holiday week. <laughs> Ridiculous. We have to do a better job explaining ourselves, people. Not only, do, do, not only do we do a very bad job explaining Eid to people of other faiths, we don't even bother to make Eid fun for our own kids. That's not right, okay? I want to say something on behalf of all the Muslim kids growing up in Europe, growing up in America, the way we celebrate Eid stinks. That's right, all the kids are very excited. Let's be honest, let's be honest, okay? We have to compete. We have to come, otherwise if we don't keep up, our kids are very confused, man. Christmas comes along with all the trees and the lights. A big fat guy in a red suit giving out free toys. Free toys. Halloween comes along every year in America on Halloween. Everybody you know is giving out free candy. Free candy. We tell our kids, you're going to starve for a month. And then I'm going to take you to an empty parking garage to pray. Let's go. Eid Mubarak. Get in the car. Stop crying. That's a holiday. Eid Mubarak. If anybody asks, Eid is the word die spelled backwards. Get in the car. Let's go. That's crazy. We have to explain ourselves, people. We don't do a very good job. Listen, listen. I love to read, okay? I read books. I read books about Islam. They're beautiful books. I can't share them with my friends from other faiths. You know why? Because they'll just be confused because we don't explain. They'll just be reading. And then the prophet, Pubul. P 
peanut butter? I'm not sure. What is puba? Puba. We don't explain it, puba. You're just supposed to magically know that's an abbreviation for a translation of an Arabic phrase. But we don't explain it. We don't explain it. And then Allah, sweet. S-W-T. Sweet. We don't explain what it means. You're just supposed to magically know that's an abbreviation of a transliteration of an Arabic phrase. We don't explain it. You're just supposed to know. I'm sick of these abbreviations, people. Please, can we stop? I get these emails from Muslims. I'm sure you get them too, right? A-S-A. Salam alaikum. W-A-S was what was. Wa alaikum salam. Lowercase i, capital A, inshallah. Lame, that's what that is, lame. Please, can we stop with these abbreviations? I got, a, I got an email from this guy. He didn't even write his name at the bottom. He just wrote Y-B-I-I. -I. Anybody? Shout it out. Y-B-I-I. -I. Your brother in Islam. I thought it was from an African guy called Ibi. <laughs> Took me half an hour to figure that out. And then finally I said, oh, your brother. So I just wrote him back. I wrote, not anymore. <laughs> I just wrote N-A. He had to figure it out. It was a big mystery. But we have to do a better job, people. That's why I believe that Muslims, we have to create our own media. That's why I give it up again for Islam Channel. That's right, creating our own media. That's right. Because let me tell you something. I am sick and tired of Hollywood stereotypes. How many people agree with me? Sick and tired of Hollywood stereotypes. That's right. I can't, I, I can't even watch them anymore. I cannot watch this stuff. Think about it, people. If you listen to the stereotypes about Muslims in the Hollywood movies, what are the two biggest stereotypes? Muslim men are terrorists. Muslim women are oppressed. Have these people been inside of a Muslim household? Because if you bother to investigate, you would quickly figure out you have it exactly opposite. That's right, Muslim women are terrorists. Muslim men are oppressed. That's right, they talk a big game. They'll be like, yeah, that's what I said. Isn't that right, honey? <laughs> Unless they're rich Arabs and they go, isn't that right, honey? Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Only 10 people got the joke. That's okay.